everyone, today we are going to read a book about Thea Stilton and the Secret of the Old Castle. Main characters are Nikki, Colin, Violet, Pauline, and Pamela. Ooh, so let's start reading the Thea Stilton and the Old and the Secret of the Old Castle. It was a beautiful May evening in New Mouse City. I had just returned from a fabulous trip across Mouse Island on my motorcycle, and I was in great mood. Uh, pardon me, I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name is Thea Stoughton, and I am the special correspondent for the Rudas Gazette, the newspaper run by my brother, Yernemu. I travel a lot for work. And my motorcycle is always by my side like a true friend. That evening, I had just parked outside my apartment when my cell phone beeped. Beep, 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 beep. And I had a text message. It was a picture of my good friends, Colin, Nikki, Pamela, Paulina, and Violet, seated on the three brand new motorcycles. I called them right away. Thundering cattles, you look fantastic on those motorcycle muscles. Paula, Paulina laughed. Thanks, Thea. I thought you approved. We're in Scotland on a mission in the Highlands. Traveling by motorcycle is great, Pamela added. It's almost like flying. That was the enthusiasm that had first drawn me to Thea sisters. Ever since I thought them in the journalism class at Mouseford Academy, these five incredible mouselets had never teased to amaze me. They were my best students. Seeing them travel by motorcycle made me feel as though I was there with them. Of course I was wondering they were up to Scotland, and I'll bet you were too. So, get ready for rep roading new adventure with the Astotons! Bridget McNamara's The Scottish sick began on the day like any other Mossford Academy. During the break between classes, Violet ran into her friend and fellow student Bridget McNamara's. Bridget was shy and quiet mouselet. She was always kind to everyone, but she wasn't very talkative. Not unless Bridget and Violet had become good friends, they started the shared same deep love of music. Bridget and it was Scottish, and two mouselets had started to tell each other stories about the culture and tradition of their countries. Violet was on her way to class when she spotted Bridget. She was struck by the worried look on Bridget snapped, so she scurried over to squeak with her. Is everything okay, Bridget? We're still meeting in the auditorium to practice our dance this afternoon, right? Bridget smiled, but she looked as stressed as rat amazed. I can't file it. I have to. Leave for Scotland at once. There's a clan reunion to decide what's going to happen to Magma's family castle, and I cannot miss it. Violet was curious. This is the ancient family castle you have told me so much about? That's it, Violet said. Bridget said, It's a terrible shame. We hearers have to decide what to do immediately. That's why I have to live today. I'm sure everything will work out. Plus, you get to see your family. Violet tried to reassure, reassure Bridget. Bridget sighed heavily. That's true, but unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be a fa fun family party. My uncles and cousins are nothing but bigger. But I have to be there. I have a mission to complete. My grandfather loved that class of castle. Violet squeezed Bridget's paws tightly. As soon as you get home, contact me, okay? 
Keep me posted on everything that's going on. Just then, Nikki popped out of the math classroom. Violet, come on, move those balls! Class is about to start. Bridget and Violet said quick goodbye, and Violet scrambled to class. A castle to save. Next evening, Violet kept checking her email. She was hoping to find a note from Bridget, but there wasn't any new messages. She was about to try calling her friend on her cell phone when a text message arrived from Bridget. Magmal's castle is in danger. I need your help, Bridget. Magmal's castle is in danger. What could have happened? Violet immediately delighted Bridget, but all she heard on the other end was buzzing. She tried again with the same result. So Violet ran to Paulina's room quickly. Nikki, Pamela, Colette were there, too, doing homework. Violet showed them Bridget's message. See, Bridget's asking for help. She was so worried yesterday. She was talking about some kind of mission. She she didn't call you to explain. She just sent you a text message. Call it ask. Yes. Then, and when I started calling her back, I just got this weird buzzing sound. Violet replied. So, what are we going to do? We can't ignore her cry to help. The friends exchanged serious looks. Pam squeaked first. Sizzling spark looks. You're right, Violet. Bridget needs us. I'm with Pam. Nikki added. As always, Paulina was practical. First, we need to learn a little more about the castle. Great idea! Violet exclaimed. I think I know someone who can help. Paulina's excitement quickly faded. Oh no! Don't tell me if you're thinking of Professor Radcliffe. Of course, Violet confirmed. She knows really well. She's Scottish too. And I see them chattering all the time. Colette nodded. And she studied the tradition of Scotland. Once she helped me with the research of Scotland kilts and tartans. Fine, let's go to Professor Pam mumbled. Even though she isn't exactly warm and furry, Margaret Radcliffe, professor of literature and creative writing. Was in her office. Of all the teachers at the academy, she was the strictest. She kept her students in a the pause. There wasn't a more fear professor in the mouse ward. Violet showed her Bruce's message right away. I'm very worried about Bridget McMahon's professor. See, she's asking for help. When the professor read Bridget's message, her expression changed immediately. Do you have any idea what this means? Not yet, Violet attempted. But Bridget was very upset before she left. The professor nodded. This castle is one of the oldest of the Scotland. It's on the Isles of Skye. And is a real treasure. Unfortunately, most of the Alistair MacMaze descendants has never at- attained the status of their attained ancestor. Nikki quickly looked puzzled. She means that Bridget's great 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 fa- grandfather. Was an honorable mouse, but most of their relatives are sm- slimy, sour rats. Paulina whispered. Professor Redcliffe often squeaked in his old-fashioned way, and Paulina was an expert at interpreting. Professor Redcliffe's 
sprang up, rummaged through her bookshelves, and pulled out two fat volumes and one thinner one. The History of Scotland, Scottish Castles and Fled Legends, a guide to the Isle of Scott, she said, giving the books to Pamela. You must prepare it if you want to go to Scotland. Go to Scotland? The Mouselet all exclaimed. Indeed, said the professor, as if for obvious. Someone must investigate what's happening up there, and then some spirit what has to put her faith in you. Professor Radcliffe stepped back and looked each of the mouselets over from snout to paw. When then she nodded, I have fresh with a new too. Come, let's go to see the headmaster.